I don't know when a lightning bolt struck or anything, but I mean, if you're black in the United States, these stories are so frequent. Stories of um, people of color being killed by police officers that it was always, it's been on my mind for years. And I make theater. And apart from marching, which I did and all of that, I was thinking, what will my contribution be to this cause? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, aside from being on the streets and yelling on Facebook and all of that kind of stuff, which I've done, um, I thought this would be my own my own way to add my voice to what I hope is a growing voice of dissent. I mean, for them, it's been, there have been two emotions. The first is just how hard it is, not just to tell your story, but to witness something pull back to you. On the second night, one of the mothers had to leave the room because she was crying so hard. Um, and it was during a scene where we were talking about her last night with her son. It was his birthday. And um, it has been very difficult for them to, to relive this, you know? Um, but their life is difficult anyway, and they feel like if their life is going to be difficult, they'd rather it go to this. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Um, their heart doesn't, their life doesn't get easier if they don't see their story or if they don't tell their story. Right. Um, so they might as well use it to fuel change. I just would really like to thank the mother in the story for being this vulnerable with me and to a larger public. It's hard to bear yourself in this way, to be judged. Um, to have your child judged, to have your mothering judged. It's very hard. And I don't want anybody to ever underestimate how difficult that is. Um, and so I want to thank them because this wouldn't be possible without them. <laughs>